Now then, welcome back to Utopia Cubed, and I'm on the hunt with my Thormometer. <laughs> Here we go. Here's one. These aura nodes are amazing for getting loads of aspects. I mean, I just got like 37 uh, igneous aspect there. Oh, there's another one here as well. And you just scan them, and you get a ton of research points. Tons of them. Uh, I've just been exploring out and about to try and find some nodes just to get some research points so that I don't have to go through all the combining and stuff to start me off. Uh, oh, oh, has anyone got this yet? No, nobody's got this yet. Can I check quartz? Oh, I can check quartz while I'm here as well. And uh, quartz stairs. Yes, thank you. So this is a good lucky block. Let's do a good lucky block. And it's a load of potions. Potion invisibility, nice. Fire resistance, splash of poison, splash of slowness, and a poison potion. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad for a little run round. Uh, I'm just scanning about. Been doing a lot of uh, exploring. Been doing a lot of exploring. We went for an explore in the nether earlier, uh, Ego and I. Uh, he was live streaming, so I joined him and we went for a little explore to try and find some nether ores and bits and pieces of goodness in the nether. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to head back now. I'm going to scan a few more places on the way. I'm just opening up my map a little bit more as well, so I can scan it. Oh. Oh. Is this a nasty place? Has someone already... Uh Someone already done this one? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's fly around the other side to where the chests are, quick. Uh, no, they haven't. Uh, nothing really special in there. Nothing really special in there. But there are zombie spawners here. Not hanging around there for a little bit. But I will keep that marked on. Uh, that's one of the ruins that comes... In, well, comes about when you're in these sort of swampy areas. Just to make the swampy areas a little bit more dangerous. Just a little bit more dangerous. Not too much more dangerous. Just enough to make you think twice about going into the swamps when you're on your adventure. Uh, let's switch back. Let's see if there's... A ah, there's one. There's always some water nodes around. Let's get some more water. Oh, that's quite a lot of research points. That's good. Four of each. That's good. I like. Uh, yeah, okay. So... You watch some footage of me having a wander around the nether for a bit, and I'll be back soon with some more cool stuff to show you. Well, I'm going to the nether. Mm, not like that, you know. <clears throat> <coughs> this door is perfectly open. Perfectly okay, then. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Yeah, Teddy wishes oh us god. luck. Teddy oh, the was... portal just went again as I got through it. That's the trouble with these portals and Lycanite mobs. Those things just sort of hover around here, don't they? Hey, you can change into one of them now. Oh at least. my god, you can't bloody see anything, you're right. Yeah, uh, you need to turn your particles off completely, like off, off. So decreased, minimal. Minimal, yeah. And these ones, these ones blow up even more. Is it firing at us or not? Yep. He's firing at you. Yeah, he's firing at you. Where's my needle gun when I want it? Yeah, you don't need a needle gun. You need a bow, that's all. You'll be right. Use the bow. Use the bow, bro. There you go. You Hard got him. You got him. Now you can be a gas, yeah. Do they, they fly? They should fly, but I wouldn't test it over lava. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did think that. Yeah, they do fly. Um, Ow! I got, I got wasp stinged. This is not working for me. This this version of the thing is not working for me at all. He's chasing you, bro. Yeah, it's, it's a dang wasp, man. Ow, you git! <laughs> now I can be a wasp at least. But that's a wasp nest there. There's some cool stuff you can do with a wasp's nest. There's another one coming now! Don't do that, I'm changing! 
be a gas. Why don't you? You can fly then. <laughs> that looks crazy. A gas fighting a wasp. <laughs> I'm like a pro gas. <laughs> oh, but where, where are we going? What are we looking for? Looking pretty good from over here. The whole of spawn area is starting to look very epic. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Uh, once we've got the overall shapes and things around spawn sorted out, I think I will be heading out to find my own little adventurous area somewhere. Uh, but for now, I'm quite happy tinkering around at spawn, doing lots of little jobs around spawn. Uh, filled in with a load of bookcases because Ego's got a cow farm and sugarcane farm. So I made loads of paper and leather and made a load of bookcases. And in these bookcases, I put the hardcore questing books so that the spare books are here as well and they look like they're lining the shelves nicely. My redstone book isn't in there because I uh, I hid it away and put it up here. Uh, along with making a load of extra bookcases that I had, I just tapped it with my wand a few times and made some spared Thormanomicons. Thormanomicons to go there. And boop. And... Oh, did I leave by the other door last time? I think I left by the other door last time. Hang on a minute. Uh, yeah, hang on a minute. Let's just break the door down. Uh, it is a secret entrance, and there's nothing better than a secret entrance in Minecraft because people can just break it down whenever they feel like it. Uh, but I forgot I left the lever down, and I flew out the roof up here earlier. I flew up out there and went exploring. I should have flown back in through there, really, but I forgot all about it. Uh, got another few little bits and pieces, some of these, which I want to scan to see what they turn up. In my scanny, scanny thing. Ethereal essence. No, didn't give me anything. Okay. What about some of that? This is the other thing you can do with the uh, thermometer. Is scan things that you throw on the floor. Give them an idea. There we go. Oh, well. Didn't find anything. So let's put that back in there. That back in there. And those back in there. There we go. Out of the way. Uh, these drawers and things. I don't seem to be getting the graphical glitch when they're on a certain angle. Now, that's a bit odd. When you're on a certain angle, when they're on a certain north, south, east, west facing, as it were, when they're on that facing, which is south, presumably, on the south wall facing north, they don't seem to have that texture glitch, which is weird, which is odd, uh, but... The mod can only get better. It's a fairly new mod. It looks pretty cool, though. I like like the look of it. I don't know if I like it more than Bibliocraft shelves, but I do like the look of it. I do like it. Uh, so, what have I gained from my explorations? Uh, 37, uh, 67 Terror, uh, Potentia, some Fire. I even found some Ice uh, from looking at snow. Plenty of water, some air, some... Uh, Victorus and some Motus and I got the looks earlier as well. I got some Pedatio as well. So I've got the primal aspects quite sorted now. Ordo and Terra are around me. That's why it's got a little sparkle. So there's something around here that has a lot of Ordo and Terra. Now the earth, it's probably because all these stone bricks around me have earth in them. Glass panes, won't let me do it. Um wood won't let me scan wood or anything at the minute glowstone won't let me scan so i'm not sh i'm not sure i'm not sure what's giving me the ordo ordo irregularity purity i don't know what's giving me that maybe maybe the thorncraft arcane tables and things i don't know i uh, also been storing all these sort of things down here it's, it's fairly difficult with Walia to be able to look into places because you get a great big Walia box when you're looking at them. It's not too big a deal, though. Um, oh, I found a couple of spawn eggs in the nether as well. Spawn normal skeletons. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do with them just yet. I think I can change them with Gannis. So uh, maybe I'll do something with that later. Uh, we got all of these ores as well. Uh, and nether bricks, because of this auto smelting, every time I touched a piece of nether rack, it turned into nether bricks. Uh, got a bit of cobalt and ardite and the other bits and pieces that I had from earlier. 
And I've all still got a few bits in here as well, which I may as well take out now and put into that chest so that it's nice and safe. And I think I'll take my coal out of there as well. I've still got this problem because I updated the pack that the item IDs seem to have shifted a bit when I added new mods into the pack. And that didn't bode so well after all that. I don't like that. But i got to live with it now. And hopefully when you download the pack fresh, you'll get it a little bit different. There's also that inventory tweaks thing there, which is a bit of a pain still. But we live with it. We live with these things. Minecraft is a buggy piece of something in its own right. Uh, thank you. There we go. That'll do. Uh, but we march on. We make videos. We march on and we play the game because the game is still fun. The game is still immensely fun. Right. Let's get started on mixing up some of these to make all of the aspects that I may need so I can scan just about everything and gain loads of research points before I start researching. Alright, so let's have a look, see if we can unlock some things here. So, we're starting off with the primal aspects and we've got air, aqua, igneous, ordo, perditio and terra. There are primal aspects that we've got to start with in all cases. Uh, to get to tier 2, or we've got to go through tier 1. So this gelum uh, is a mix of water and ordo. A mix of these two would make gelum. Uh, Lux is a mix of air and fire. And motus is a mix of air and ordo, or purity or something like that. Uh, Potentia is another one that I've already got which is a mix of Ordo and Fire. So these things I've researched out in the world because I know the primal aspects and two primal aspects go together to make one then it fixes it all up. Uh, one thing I can see here that isn't a tier one is Saxum and Saxum is basically Terror and Terror or at least it used to be. Okay, it's not. Fine. It's not anymore. I'm guessing that that's been taken out then. Because it, it definitely used to be. Um, air and Entropy, or Pedicio, makes vacuous void. There we go. I've got some there. So now I lost a point of each of those to gain three in vacuous. Right? Now, the final one on tier, uh, tier 1 is Earth and Water makes life. There we go, Victus. There we go, that's it. So that's tier 1 sorted. Tier 2 aspects are going to use some of the tier 1 aspects as well as the primal aspects. So I get a Motus and a Victus, and I should get Bestia. Bestia which is basically animals and the beast. So life and movement or animation, motion and life together make beasts. And then we've also got hunger, which is life. Well, if we take rid of that one, life and the void makes hunger. Oh, yes, there it is. Hunger, fams. Uh, then there's the one that does uh, seeds, if I can remember what it is. Uh, I think it's Life Again, uh, our tier 1 favourite at the minute. Life Again, but it has something else with it. Uh, is it Earth? Life and Earth for seeds, probably. Yeah, there we go. Well, that gives us Herba. Uh, yeah, okay. It gives us Herba, at least. That's something. And I've now run out of life. So what I'll have to do is remake Victus, which is Earth and water. So I can make myself some more Victus. So for every couple of these that I put in, I get some more Victus. So let's just get ourselves up to 10 Victus, because we've still got plenty of the others left that way. So we get rid of those two. Motion is journey, and Earth, motion over Earth, is a journey, an adventure. And that should give us that one. Travel, journey, iter. And then we've got something that requires the life again. And water, which is the slimy one. 
There we go, all the limous, slimy, sticky stuff. Mmm, yummy. Uh, next we've got, let's see, life and chaos will make death. Uh, there we go, mortis. Or life and destruction, I suppose you could call it. Life and destruction makes death. And then we've got, let's see, exchange, chaos and entropy, and also order and regularity makes permentatio, exchange and barter. Uh, the One of the most important ones for future reference is going to be void and uh, d d d potentia, which is like magical energies. Uh, the void and energy makes magical energies, which is precantatio, which we'll use a hell of a lot in the future. So that's a good one to have a few of. But I haven't got much void or energy left. So it's a good thing once you've unlocked these things to go and scan all sorts of things all over again to get loads more of these research points so you can make them quickly. I'm also going to need to use these for the Thorncraft research as well. So it's pretty important that I get it all. I've unlocked as many as I can remember. Um, there's a few that's missing as far as I know. And there's uh, Alienus has got a new symbol by the looks of it. Uh, it's been a while since I did all this research. But I did have my notes for what I got from where. And now there's a few new ones that I need to find out. Uh, but another thing now is because I... I know all of these elements. It means that this thermometer is a bit better for me. Like, I couldn't do the glass pane earlier. Uh, nothing can be learned from it. Okay. Spruce wood, I couldn't do that earlier. Now I'm getting some arbor from it. Uh, glowstone, couldn't be done earlier. Nothing can be learned from it still. Uh, chest, I get some vacuous and arbor because it's made of wood. The research table itself. Yep. We'll get a load of bits and pieces from all of these things now. So I can go around and I can research a fresh new stuff. Uh, now, at the start, we tried these things, didn't we? So let's get one of them, one of them, and one of them. Throw them on the floor. And now I've researched some other bits. I should get some bits and pieces from that. There we go. Uh, Alm. That's cool. Okay. And Ethereal Essence. That's the one I've just done. Okay. And that one. Oh, they're all the same. They're all the same now. Oh, what is this trickery? This magic. Okay, well, we'll put them away. And we'll have a look at these shards instead. Thank you. Let's go order shard. Is that going to give me order? Uh, yes, some ordo and some other bits and pieces. An air shard. Is it going to give me air? Uh, yep, and some magic and some crystal. Because it's a magic crystal of water. Magic crystal water. There we go. That's pretty good. And then scan the entropy. And that is a pedicio. Oh, yeah. So, you see, now I've gained a load more points in those things. And more things in the world have unlocked for me. And I've gained some more points in here as well. Uh, so, let's, let's see. Splash potion of poison. Let's scan it. Oh, look, now I've got the poison one, which is something I'd forgotten how to get. So now I've got uh, eight of this vanillium poison available to me, which means I got some new stuff. Uh, splash potion of fire resistance. You can check all these things. Oh, it's got a bit of armor in as well because it's sort of like fire resistance. So it's got a potion of that. Invisibility. Gives us a cool bit of stuff as well. Nice. Uh, splash Potion of Slowness. Oh, we got Trap and everything on there. That's good. Uh, but a lot of things now have unlocked for me. That's uh, another Poison. Weakness. There we go. We get the Death and all sorts of other bits and pieces. And this Poison is different to the Splash Poison. So we technically could learn the same things again from a different version of the same Potion. Which is good. And now if I hold shift when I'm on my inventory. We will get these uh, telling me how much of everything's in there. And now that's important for later on. It also tells me if I've checked it or not. Like now I've checked coal. I'll get that over the top of coal. I haven't checked leather. 
uh, or bones yet. So let's check bones, scan them. We get some of that and leather. Get some of that. Thank you. And now when I press shift over them, they give me what they are in there. Which is very good. Very good indeed. Let's see if I can do food stuff. Oh, yeah. You see, this is the long-winded research process. Uh, you have to take your time going around and checking all sorts of items. Doesn't look like I can learn anything from Tinker's Construct torches. Probably because it's Tinker's Construct. Oh. Red crafting clay. Doubtful it's from a different mod. So that's a modded item. So modded items generally don't work the same. Let's check my boots. Yep. Ah, oh, there I've got the metal from the boots now. I've got the metalium. Metalum. Which is good because I didn't have that before, did I? And I can scan all of these different suit parts to get loads of research points coming in. If you look at the bottom right of my screen, there's tons of research points coming in all over the place. Let's chuck that again. I did get it. Okay. Yeah, so a full suit of iron armor gave me quite a lot of metalum stuff. So now I should have a decent amount of that in here. So yeah, look, we've got 18 metalum. Just from scanning the armor. And now all of these will be required for the research. For the research and development of things. Let's see. If I get some paper. Uh, get my Thormanumanuma gun. And let's just do the first bit of research for you. So you know what we're doing. Okay. Uh, this basic information means that there's something new to look at. And the Aspects of Magic is also got a little starry thing up there, which means there's new Aspects of Magic. And inside that section of the Thormanomicon, Aspects of Magic, it gives you all the details that I've already told you about and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and it shows you what we've learned so far. So we've got near enough all of the Aspects here. There's possibly a few more. That's near enough all the Aspects. And when you hover over... It will tell you what you found contains the aspect. Because you use those things that contain the aspects as material components at a later date. For uh, spells and things that you'll need them for. And potentially lots and lots of things that you'll need. And so you can tell the ones that I've done manually. And these are the combinations. So once you've done it once, you make a note of the combinations. Like Itor is Motus and Terra. So you know next time to do it. Victus and Aqua, Limus. And the different tiers come from being able to do things. Like uh, this must be like a tier 5. Because you've got to research Humus before you can get Humus and Ordo to make Instrumentum. So that makes Instrumentum the next tier on from Humus. And also... Lucrium it needs humus. So it must be the same tier as Instrumentum, most likely, you see. And all of these things are so, so easy to get into once you know what you're doing. Like we've got all my suit of armor there, shows us how much is in each piece of armor as well. Five in boots, six in leggings, five in chest, and six in the head. Uh, all the bits and pieces, all right? So we've got that. So that's aspects of magic. Now, to research things, you need to have a... Uh, well, it tells you all here. But I'm going to need to make the thermometer do that. Yep, it's all told you in here exactly how to do it. But we need scribing tools in order to write notes onto this paper. So the paper is currently at 24. I get a set of scribing notes and have a look back in here. And what should we have first? Research expertise to make researching stuff easier. Why not? We'll start there. So research expertise. You heard a little ting. That's now given me a little note down here. So we escape out of that. And now this is research notes. And the research notes put into the research table just there will give us a little mini puzzle. Now the mini puzzles can be difficult. Uh, but this is... This is a lot simpler than it used to be, I can tell you. Um, it used to be that you used to use up all sorts of stuff, uh, loads and loads of aspects to get research points until you eventually matched it all up. And then there was another one in an earlier version where you had to link things in lines. Uh, this one, basically, you have to just join all the dots. 
So we've got to go from this to Ordo and to that. And we've got to try and do it within the, the least amount of aspects spent. But we've got a lot of space to link them all up in. So let's see what we can do. The simplest way that I know of to start is probably going with whatever primal aspects they contain. So this, um, or is it census, has air in it. So I'm going to drag some air across to there and put air in. And you'll see that there's a little fine line between the two. And Cognito has uh, terror in it. So let's put some terror there. And then we need to have a look to see if there's anything that's got terror and air together in it. Right, well, I can't see anything that might do it. But I can go a little bit more of a long way round. And I think this might work. Um, Motus is partly made up of Ordo. And Motus is also partly made up of that and water. Now, life maybe? I've only got one life left, so I really want to do that. But that's linked those two together, but it hasn't linked these together. So what have we got that would link these three? Anything here that links these guys all together? Or a run around to link these guys together would be nice. Now, I think we had air and motus was flight earlier, didn't we? So, air and flight. Have I got any flight left? Yeah, i got three flight left. Let's put that there. Yeah, that's now linked those up together. This might not be the best one as an example here. And let's take that off. So, you can see now these are connected. So, now all I need to do is get a connection from here to either side in any way, shape or form to follow it all in. And the more I rub things out, the more I place things, the more aspects I've lost and the more research I have to go and do. Uh, and also combining elements and all that sort of stuff as well. I think I have an idea for Ordo. Uh, crystal is made up of Ordo and uh, also Terra. So if I make a run like that, that'll connect those two together. And of course, these two share... Uh, well, Crystal shares Ordo and Crystal shares Terra. So if I put a Terra now there, that should link those together, you see. So I've basically used the same combinations over again. Terra and Ordo makes Crystals, so the Crystals have either Ordo or Terra shared to link the two Crystals together. And this one was a slightly more convoluted, but we got there eventually. So now we've got the full set we've managed to link them all together so they've all joined up in some manner or shape. There's so many potential solutions that I think it's fairly random as well, so I don't know if there's any way you could possibly learn the combinations other than knowing what the aspects are. Uh, but you end up with this discovery afterwards. You take the discovery out and as you can see from the Thormonomicon, these are uh, these combos, as you learn them, you want to write them down because you'll need those through all of your research as well. All of it. But now research expertise, we've already got it. So now we just right click with the discovery and that should add details into research for us. We've become more efficient at performing research. Whenever you remove an aspect that you placed in a hex, there is a 25% chance that you will regain that research point. So now it's not a lot. But if you've got to do lots and lots of placing and removing to get where you need to get to, having a chance of getting the point back is a pretty big deal. So expertise is always the first thing I go for. Uh, I'll also be able to see what aspects you need to combine to create an aspect you are hovering over. So that is also now very, very useful because I can go into here and go, I want to make uh, Fabrico. And I know that it may, it's using those two to make Fabrico. So if we go to something that I haven't got, like this, I know I need um, life and death. So if I put death and I put some life, where's life? I've run out of life. So I need water and terror to make some life. Water and terror to make some life. Yep, there's the one life there. And then I'll need life and death. To make spiritus you see 
So now I've got the research expertise, it's going to make it a lot easier for me to do the research. And because I was checking out things like this and using these notes to figure out that research, now when I do a research, I've got the ability to look to see what things have connections, what things have potential connections that I can use. Um, and so I can just keep going and keep going and keep researching. Now I've done the advanced expertise. Uh, that is how I would explain Thorncraft. That's how I would tell you guys to do your research. How to get started in Thorncraft the easiest way possible that I've found so far. I've started it a few times, I've never really finished it. But that's my startup. That's how I do it. And now it's just research, research, research until you get all the things that you need as you need them. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope that was useful to somebody. Maybe I'll look back on it in a little while and maybe it'll be some use to me. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next episode on Utopia Cubed.